Welcome to Technical Tuesday. This is Fed Razak, Senior Trading Strategist here at CM Trading. And today we're going to start a new series on indicators. Now, before we start, make sure to like, subscribe, and do share, especially if you find value in this presentation. Okay, so this is going to be a series where we're going to break down a bunch, and I mean a bunch of indicators. There are lots out there. I use a handful of them, but we're going to break it down because I feel that there's a lot of misconception about indicators. And I want to do this particular presentation just to go over some of those major misconceptions that people have when they first enter trading financial markets. And one of them is, is that indicators are going to be that end all. They're going to use an indicator, they're going to apply it, and it's going to produce them money. And it doesn't work like that. Okay. Because if that's the case, you could even set up a regular program, not an AI program, a really simple program that triggers a trade every time an indicator is hit. That's all you got to do. But we see that that's not the case. Okay. So there's a few layers here that we need to unpack for us to really appreciate what indicators do. So here are a few points that I want to outline before we start indicators. Now, they're not the Oracle. They're not a profit. Okay. They indicate. That is all they do. What does that mean? They pretty much take, tell you, take a look at this. Okay. For example, if I am using something like the VIX, which is a volume indicator, it's going to tell me whether or not volume is up or down in a particular asset. Well, that's great. Or the general market. Now, why do I care? Well, I want to trade the financial markets when they're volatile. I want to trade an asset when it's volatile, not when it's doing nothing, because when it's doing nothing, it does mean no service, right? It's not, can't do anything if I buy it and it's just going to stay, you know, really close to that baseline, right? You want volatility, you want to buy it at five and sell it at 150. That is where you want to be, right? So you want to be in an atmosphere where it kind of, puts you in the direction that you need to trade it. And that's what indicators do. They do partially. That's one of the jobs that they do is that they kind of focus you about what you should be looking at, what assets you should not be looking at and why you should be looking at it because it's not trading or it is trading. Okay. Those two elements. Now, another major misconception is that it gives you the trade. Like I said, at the prelude to this particular um, introduction, but it doesn't. It confirms or reconfirms a strategy that you already had. If you did the work, you did the analyzation of looking at a particular symbol because it's been trading the past couple of days, it's shown some consistency, it has volume to back it up, it also has support and resistance or a trend line to back it up, and then you use an indicator, boom, that reconfirms a strategy. That's almost a five star trade, which means that that's a trade that I want to start getting more aggressive in. If it's not giving me that confirmation, if it's not kind of reconfirming, then okay, it's an idea, but it doesn't necessarily confirm my trade. Now it also confirms a trade when you have all those elements there. So it's really very important to use because it together with your other technical analysis tools, becomes a very effective method in analyzing and trading the financial markets. Now, lastly, with technical analysis, it's a very effective tool. That's the lead on to it. And it's very important to interlay it with technical analysis. Now, there are some indicators that are more important under certain circumstances when you interlay them with technical analysis and some that are less relevant, okay? But that we'll discuss also and also we'll discuss in which kind of scenarios do technical indicators help you and in which other kind of scenarios do technical indicators not help you. Okay. We'll go through each one and we'll break it down. What kind of environment and what kind of technical tool is used for that environment. And I think that those three elements are really important when you're digesting the market, when you're interacting with the market, and then when you're trading the market, because at that point, it follows through a strategy that you can recreate. Now, remember, trading the financial markets is just recreating success. And you can only do that if you continuously do it again and again. And you put the two most important elements of it is trading psychology and money management, but interlay it with 
technical analysis together with indicators, that should be a sure recipe for success. Thank you for joining us for Technical Tuesdays. We'll see you here next week.